Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with sweet corn and wild mushroom spoon bread. That's right. While we were trying to figure out a delicious new corn and mushroom side dish, we accidentally invented like the best cornbread dressing ever. And please do not let the hideous looks fool you. This really, really tasted delicious. So let me show you how to make it. I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. So we're going to start by placing some dry porcini mushrooms in a small bowl and covering it with hot water. Pretty much any dried wild mushroom will work, but I really like the porcini. Great flavor. And of course, if you have access to fresh porcini, by all means, use those. So we're going to let that sit about 30 minutes while we get our dry ingredients together. So into a mixing bowl, I'm going to add some all-purpose flour, some cornmeal, a little bit of white sugar, some salt, some baking soda, not powder. Don't even think about adding baking powder. Some freshly ground black pepper, and of course, a little bit of cayenne. All right, and then we're gonna take a whisk and we're just gonna mix up those dry ingredients to make sure everything's incorporated. By the way, to the person that emailed me asking me why we call these the dry ingredients, mostly it's because of the lack of wetness. That's pretty much it. And then after a half hour, your mushrooms should be nicely softened. You're gonna go ahead and squeeze those out. By the way, you can save that liquid for soup. What kind? Mushroom soup. All right, you're gonna squeeze out those mushrooms and you're gonna give them a nice fine chop. I love the flavor of dried mushrooms, but not necessarily the texture. So I don't like them in too big of pieces. So that looks good. And what we're gonna do with those mushrooms is take one stick of butter, melt it over medium heat, and as soon as it melts, we're gonna dump in those mushrooms and we're gonna cook those for about three minutes. And what's gonna happen here is we sizzle those mushrooms in the butter, the butter's gonna start tasting like porcini mushroom, and the porcini mushrooms are gonna start tasting like butter. Both of those things are good, all right? So after cooking the mushrooms in that butter for about three minutes, I just turned off the heat and we're gonna let that cool down a little. That should cool down for at least 10 minutes. All right, so we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna go back over to our mixing bowl for final assembly, which means you're gonna add two large eggs. I love how eggs look on top of flour. We're gonna add a big splash of buttermilk and a little splash of regular milk. And we're gonna give that a mix. And we're gonna add other stuff in here so it doesn't have to be super well mixed. So just give it a few spins. At that point, you're gonna dump in the butter porcini mixture and one pound of sweet corn. Now I'm using frozen corn, of course. It's been thawed and drained thoroughly. And get a nice premium brand. Don't buy that generic or army surplus stuff. I want it to be actual corn, not corn-like. So get something good. We're gonna to switch to a large spoonula and we're gonna mix that together. And then last but not least, cause I remembered I had them in the fridge, I chopped up a few green onions, threw that in. I knew that would be good in there. How could it not be? So I'm gonna stir those in and that mixture is ready for the oven. We're gonna transfer that into a buttered or oiled casserole dish. Anything you can fit it in will work. We're gonna give it several shake shakas and then numerous, very enthusiastic old tapa tapas. And then that's gonna go in a preheated 350 degree oven for between 30 and 35 minutes or until it's just barely set. It will be very lightly springy to the touch. The old clean knife trick will also work, although it could have a little smudge on it even if it's done. And yes, that looks absolutely dreadful. It looks like a regular casserole that caught the Black Plague, but that's okay. It tasted spectacularly. And when we grabbed our spoon, because it is after all spoon bread, it actually looked much, much, well, not much better. It looked nominally less horrific. But while it may have looked like hell, it definitely tasted like heaven. That sweet buttery corn, those earthy mushrooms. And like I said, if you like cornbread stuffing or dressing, this was incredible. Moist, the perfect crumb, just really, really good. And we saved the step of making cornbread first. We did this in one procedure. And yes, tasting this on that plain plate was kind of sad. So let me add some props. There we go. That's much better. And because I planned on serving this during the holidays, I had to make sure it was good with gravy. And what was the verdict? Yes, good with gravy. So that's good news. So anyway, there you go. Corn and wild mushroom spoon bread. Like I said, we were just trying to come up with a simple baked corn casserole type side dish, and it turned into this. And while admittedly very ugly after baking, it ended up being a beautiful tasting dish. And one I hope you try. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info, as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.